Joe. Listen, I, I sort of a boring cross exam. I thought they were going to go somewhere, but I think they understand that they have uh, nothing as it relates to a case other than, I guess, an overzealous attorney general who would destroy all of New York business by going after transactions where there are no victims. Uh, you know, I guess other than herself. Uh, but you guys have got to think about the precedent that this case sets. If an attorney general can years later, after all parties of transactions are paid back in full with interest, making hundreds of millions of dollars where they have no complaint, where they said they wouldn't have done anything differently, where every witness, as it relates to my brother and I, every witness that the attorney general has called have said that my brother and I were not involved in the statement of financial condition. That even includes their star witness, uh, the perjurer in chief, Michael Cohen, who's perjured himself probably more times than any human being I can think of. Uh, even he said, perhaps the one time he was actually telling the truth in all of this, that my brother and I had nothing to do with it, but it doesn't matter because it's a witch hunt. It always has been. But the precedent that it sets for New York business, you know, if you don't perhaps donate to the Tisha James re-election campaign, I too will go after your billion dollar transactions. Uh, it's ripe for extortion and corruption, but you know, that's what you get from the Democrat party in New York these days, it seems. So, uh, it, it's a scary precedent. I don't know how anyone could do business in the city, uh, with that. Anyone you speak to who's actually in banking, who's actually in real estate understands that. But again, they don't want to put themselves in the crosshair. So perhaps they'll be silent. So, uh, it, it's a disgrace that this is happening right now, but I think we'll make our points. We'll make our case and we'll go on from there. So you guys have a great day. Not really what I want to talk about, but now I got to, you know, literally about as I pulled up here this morning, I found out, you know, my aunt passed away. Not a great swing thought, you know, in the back of your head as you're going uh, to deal with this sort of insanity. Uh, I'm very close uh, with her grandson. We hang out all the time. And so it's uh, obviously a, a rough day for that. But, you know, unfortunately, it is what it is. This is what it's become, right? Uh, you know, every day. There's going to be another nonsense, another lawsuit. They're going to keep trying and Re reality facts. Uh, that doesn't matter uh, because that's where we've gotten in a politicized country. So uh, it, it's a shame. And, you know, we, we'll what deal with that accordingly. I think I'm done, actually. I don't you know, I, they they had the opportunity to cross examine me a rather <laughs> mean spirited attempt to try to do something. But they didn't get into any details in the cross because they've been able to play this out in a in the press, you know, Donald Trump Jr. doesn't know anything about the finances of the company, according to, no, they asked me specifically about the statement of financial condition, one document of billions. And like I said, every witness that they have said has under oath said that Eric, myself, we had nothing to do with the document, no, nothing, even Cohen, like I said, but that is the basis for why we are apparently already guilty of fraud, having never even heard from us at that point before ever hearing from these witnesses. So that's why you know, it's a little bit ridiculous, right? You can't even make your case before. Oh, wait, this is it. Well, the document that you're relying on this, you're not I'm not supposed to rely on a big five accounting firm, like one of the biggest accounting firms in the world. I can pay them millions of dollars. I rely on them to do accounting, but I'm supposed to know more than them. By this logic, insurance companies are going to start suing patients for listening to their doctors. Right? Do you understand? Like, I Am I supposed to know more? Oh, Don Jr. doesn't know anything about it. I'm not an accountant. I'm a business guy. I went through each and every one of our deals. Had they asked me those questions, I could have very easily answered them. But I can't answer questions about a document that literally everyone acknowledges I had nothing to do with. I rely on the accountants to do that. I, I, it was, you know, perhaps there's a New York personality there, but no, I, I think he understood. I, I can't help myself even in this very serious situation. I, you know, if you take yourself too seriously, the world sort of sucks. You got to have a little bit of fun with it. So, so I did. We had some, you know, quips in the courtroom. The first time I was here, sort of gave me a fist bump on the way out. I guess I had a rather snappy response to something that was I can't even remember what it was right now. And he said that was really funny. And sort of, so you know, you what, what, your dad's views about how listen, I, I'm not gonna. I, I, I don't even know how far the gag order applies. So, you know. I don't need to do that and put myself, I mean, enough crosshairs, guys. 
you know, but again, this was about the attorney general going after and prosecuting their political enemies. And if you don't believe that, just listen to what she said before she was ever attorney general. Right? We're going to go after Trump. We're going to get it's well, we're in New York. It's bullshit. OK, is what it is. But but that doesn't matter because it's also New York, because it is so one one sided. Uh, and, you know, that's the reality of the world in which we live today. So we got to we got to play accordingly. Uh, but I imagine, you know, as you'll hear from our other experts and witnesses and the banks and everyone, they'll totally back up our side of the story. I just don't know that any of that matters because, unfortunately, it doesn't feel like, you know, we're playing by the rules. We're playing by a one-sided system of justice. So, why, why is there thanks, guys. Uh,